It is an early morning start for me today in the North Pennines. As I leave the sleepy hamlet of Sparty Lee behind. I am intrigued to see what today's hike will bring. The views today are already promising to be quite spectacular. And a very good morning from a windy North Pennines. Where am I? Well, first of all, the peak over there with the snow and touching the clouds, that's Kilhope Law. And over here is Blackway Head. Any ideas yet? So basically this here is Allendale in Northumberland. And where am I heading? Today I head east to connect some dots. As I continue along this farm track, it is already throwing up some nice surprises. Such as a mini gorge in the middle of nowhere. And further along, this bridge, which on closer inspection seems a little out of place. For being in such a remote location, this is a very impressive bridge. Continuing along, the views really start to open up. With gaining altitude, more expansive and more impressive. It isn't all plain sailing. True North Pennines, with fantastic views from the top. But onwards I travel, through more heather, taking them some miniature tarns along the way, to reach my first summit. First summit already. That was quite some heather bashing. But the views are nice. Yes, the views are indeed nice. With hills seen from miles around. Apart from the wind, there isn't the sound. Even the grouse butts are quiet at this time of year. But onwards I travel, slowly make my way, but to where? Finally, back on the road. So, you are probably wondering, thinking, where is he actually heading? Well, I'm heading to somewhere called Watson's Pike. And then, hopefully, all will be revealed to the whole idea of this hike. And you're probably also wondering, thinking, well, he seems to be doing an awful lot on this track which by the way is called Long Drag. 
I am not making it up. That's its name. Long drag. So why am I doing this? Well, the total distance of today's hike is approximately 12 miles and I've got less than eight hours to do it in. So any areas where I can gain a bit of speed is helpful. And it is still a gorgeous view around and like everywhere else in the North Pennines, totally desolate and calm. There's only me here. Amazing. Now when I said desolate and calm and I was the only person here, it's now the 12th of January. Um, I did plan on coming up here last week um, and the snow was easy, six inches to eight inches deep. But I forgot a part so I had to knock it on the head. I travelled 50 miles, an hour and a half drive, to turn around and go back. Not a good day that day. But, spin time. As you can see, there's grouse butts around, but obviously they're empty. It's windy. And I'm the only one here. Loving this. Time for the final ascent. Yes, the final ascent to the summit of Watson's Pike. Fortunately, most of it is by shooting track. So with just a little heather bashing at the top, I soon arrive at my destination. So, finally, welcome to Watson's Pike. Now, I said at the beginning, I was joining the dots. And you're probably thinking, what does he mean by that? Well, I will be revealed as I slow pan round. You'll have to excuse the bumps and the wind. It is very windy up here. I think it's about 25 miles per hour at the minute gusts. Can you see the large forest on the hillside there? And then there's some moorland just there next to it. Across there is the Carrier's Way. I've hiked there before. So, with a bit of a voiceover and a slow pan, I'm hoping all will be revealed. As I look around from the summit of Watson's Pike, into the ancient borough of Hexhamshire, with Slaley Forest in the distance, and the moorland, with the carrier's way running through it. What do I mean by connecting the dots? Well, in the beginning, I said, I'm going for a walk, please join me. And that is what I did. I ascended Cross Fell from the west. And from the summit of Cross Fell, in the distance, I could see Great Stony Hill, which is where I am here, with Cross Fell in the background. And from Great Stony Hill, along to Burnhope Seat, and then further along to Dead Stones. Now, Dead Stones can be seen from the summit of Kilhope Law which is where I am here. And of course, the summit of Kilhope Law can be seen from where I started this morning. And today I've hiked along to Watson's Pike. And from Watson's Pike, I could see the Carrier's Way, which is where I am here. And it is just a short walk down from the Carrier's Way to the village of Blanchland. And then from Blanchland, a short drive 
along to Derwent Reservoir. So what does I mean by all this? Well basically, from the mountains in the west, through the moorland in the middle, to the dales in the east, I have visually covered a complete section of the North Pennines. Yeah, in half an hour the wind speed's kicked up to 30 miles an hour. I'm not stopping up here for long. As I'm heading down the Broadway, not the American version, the North Pennines version. I don't think many people will tap dance on this. Woo! And that wind. Yeah, the tripod's had to go away now. It's already gone over once, twice, three times now. And the lens protector on the front's cracked. That's had to come off, so I'm not chancing it. But it's still nice. In fact, the other side, it's quite a nice view. Anyway, keep on going. With the tripod out of action, I resort to other methods of recording my hike, including this, which is the Broadway. Notice no dancing going on here. Yes, Roan Tree Clough. Obviously, an ancient glacial valley. With the wind really picking up, I continue my hike along the Broadway. Through saturated moorland. Absolutely amazing. until the wind drops enough to allow the tripod out again. Obviously, with the Broadway being an old lead mining trail, where people would carry the lead backwards and forwards, a bit like the carriers were. They've left furrows in the ground where people's just been walking backwards and forwards with pit ponies. And they're quite large. Must have been a quite an operation. As I continue along these deeply furrowed tracks where men used to walk relentlessly backwards and forwards with lead. The views are amazing, totally alone in this landscape. Even though it's seven degrees in January, which is actually quite mild, there is still snow lying around in sheltered places. Fascinating. Continuing along the Broadway, which is now a car track, the feelings of solitude here are fantastic. And I am still in total isolation. A 
shooting hut that has been left unlocked again at the landowner's discretion which is very thoughtful just in case the weather turns a bit nasty and from the shooting hut it is just a short hike to my final destination of the day my final summit And the final summit, again in a very windy day, Green Hill. What to do next? Kind of answers the question. If you are wondering, did I stop at the summit of Green Hill? The answer is no. The wind again has picked up. It's now about 20 mile an hour. I'd have to wait about an hour and a half for a sunset. And as I'm heading down back into Allendale, there's a lovely bank of cloud making its way here. So, any nice notion of a nice sunset picture I don't think that's going to happen today. Never mind, still thoroughly enjoyed this walk. And now we're just battling against the wind to get back to the car. Yes, that wind. Because this is quite picturesque. Never mind. I'm sure I'll be back here again sometime. Maybe it's in the summer when it's not quite so windy. Nearly back to the road. And as this hike comes to a close, I have really enjoyed this one. It's been a bit of a fact-finding one, and I've enjoyed linking all the dots together in all the different areas. It's been fun for me personally. Hope you've enjoyed it too. Whether you have enjoyed the journey, the links, the views, do not forget, Everything you've watched, everything you've seen, this is nature.